Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about multiplying two binomials and we are going to have special cases such as uh, perfect squares or the difference of two squares. I think these are going to be the only ones. So the method is the same. So this should be the same as what you did yesterday. The only difference again is we have kind of special cases. So 2d minus 2 in the parentheses squared it says find a square so if you know how to expand this you would be able to tell what the final answer is going to be without doing everything that I'm about to do but that takes a long time so you need a lot of practice uh, about these cases so then when you look at what it is you you'll know what the answer is going to be in the special cases question uh, so with this one here all we have to do is let me start with this 5 squared if this was your question you would know that the answer is going to be 25 because this means 5 times 5 right multiply the number by itself or like 7 squared it means 7 times 7 in here it means multiply the same expression by itself so 2d minus 2 times 2d minus 2 you can either use the FOIL method, method 1 is FOIL, method 2 is, it was kind of like a box, I don't remember what that method is called, so that's the second method. If you don't remember what those methods are, please get back to Z8, multiplying two binomials from yesterday, and then you'll see about those two methods. I'm going to use the square method right now so because that took less time yesterday I need three boxes let me see okay one two three I think this is what I need okay now let's fill out the terms we have in the first row and then the second uh, first column 2d minus 2 2d minus 2 2d minus 2 So, now, here is what I'm multiplying first. These two. 2 times 2 is 4. We deal with the like terms. We can multiply the numbers. And then we can multiply the variables, like d times d. When you multiply a number by itself like this, it becomes a square. Same thing applies to this. d times d is going to be d squared. So, that's what I have in here. I'm going to put d squared. Now, for this space over here, or let's do this one here, let's do that space. I need to multiply, let's just get rid of these, these, my bad, these two. 2d times negative 2. Multiply the like terms, numbers. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. The d does not have a like term, so keep it the same. Now let me just get rid of, oops, I'm trying to get this dot and the stars out of the way. Okay. This is 4 by the way. It doesn't look that way. Okay. Now let's do this right here, which means I need to multiply these two guys, right? So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then keep your variable. And then the lower right corner multiply these two guys negative times negative gives you positive 4 okay so yeah now remember if you don't have a negative it means we are talking about positive numbers right now let's just put everything together oh before that let's just why don't we just combine these two negative 40 and then minus 40 those are the things that you're gonna put next to each other negative 40 minus 40 that's negative 80 whether you put a plus sign in between them or not you can also put a plus sign in between them it wouldn't change anything but that's not what combining is combining does not mean add them together that means put them together 
and simplify the like terms. So I put the two things that I have. If either one of them did not have a plus a minus sign, I would put a plus in front of that one. So negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. Keep your variable. That's what comes out of these two. So now all I have to do is bring down your first term and then the second term that we simplified and then the third one which is 4 but this does this doesn't make sense you need a sign between them if there's no negative that means we're talking about a positive number so that would be our final answer for this one let's just refresh the page because there's no other level all of the special cases are considered as the same level I will refresh the page and see if I can get a difference of two square question which I did so if you know how to expand the difference of two square you would know you knew that the answer to this one is going to be right that that one but if you don't know how that formula works if you didn't memorize it which I understand and then you need to either use the foil method or that square method that I did now let's just change the method and then use the foil for this question over here okay first outer inner and then last let's multiply the first terms up here I'll get rid of that 3x times 3x multiply the numbers you get 9x times x is x squared next multiply the outers the outers are these two okay 3x times positive 4 multiply the numbers first both numbers are positive so we end up with positive 12 and then you keep the variable because it doesn't have any other like terms that we can multiply and then we have the inners the inners are right here the ones in the inside negative 4 times 3 are my numbers the answer is negative 12 and then keep the variable because it doesn't have a like term that I can multiply by and the last thing is multiplying the last terms so the last terms are over here negative 4 is the last term of the first set of first binomial positive 4 is the last term of the second binomial we have one negative one positive when you multiply them you end up with a negative number 4 times 4 is 16 now what you need to realize is that this 12x is positive and that one is negative they cross each other out they cancel each other out and bring down whatever you have left which is 9x squared minus 16 which would be our final answer for this question I'll refresh the page once again to see if I'm gonna end up with a different sort of example but that's all you have to do you have two methods either foil or that square method whatever it is called and you have two um, two things to deal with difference of two squares which is like this one and the previous question or uh, perfect squares so either one is the same process I don't want to do more examples and take your time let me know if you have any other questions guys thanks for watching